in case this is like the first one of my videos you have ever seen, this channel is for nerds. I am a huge nerd. I am obsessed with so many different books and movies and TV shows. This is my place to express how much I love those things. I think the majority of my viewers are Marvel, Harry Potter, and Disney fans, but I am trying to get in some book nerds in there because I love books. My favorite book of all time slash series is Anne of Green Gables, which you've probably heard of because it's a really famous classic, but I think I read that when I was eight for the first time. It's just so good. Anne means so much to me and is so important to me. I love the series. I love the, I love like the movie from the 80s. It's really good. And I have been watching Anne with an E. It's such a good book. It's such a good story. And the writing is so amazing and it's like relatable and funny and sweet and emotional and the writing is phenomenal. Anne is just the best literary character of all time in my opinion. So yeah, I love books and by far this is my favorite book ever. So that is a very big place of honor because I love a lot of books. I actually own a lot of copies of Anne. I have one over there. There, right there, and right here, but you can't see it. This is actually the first set I got. My parents got these for me when I was eight and I've read them a lot since. Especially the first three. The first three are the best. They're my favorite. Ever since I first read them, I've always wanted to go to Prince Edward Island because of course that's where they take place. It's so beautiful there and it's Anne's world and it's Alan Montgomery, which she is an amazing writer. Like just the best. I love her. Yeah, I've been wanting to go since forever. This spring when my parents told me that I was going to Scotland, which by the way, I will have a vlog for that at some point. <laughs> They also told us that as a family, we were going to go to Prince Edward Island in July, and we did, and I just got back, and whoa, life-changing. It was just how it should be, and just actually being in the place that Anne, who's not real, but I like being in the place that she loved so much, and that Ella Montgomery loved so much was just so amazing, and it was beautiful, and it just felt like I was inside the books, and I think I sort of expected when I arrived for it to still be like 1908 which it wasn't, but it was all beautiful farmland. And because we went to Cavendish, which is what Avonlea is based on. We stayed right outside of Cavendish. I cannot wait for you to see the vlog because I did vlog it. The red cliffs were beautiful. The ocean, oh my gosh, all these little cute towns and old farmhouses. It was amazing. But the purpose of this video was that I got a lot of souvenirs, really cool souvenirs. And I just thought I would show you because it's cool. So some of this stuff is actually what my sisters got, but I'm gonna show you anyway because it's cool. We made it like a big trip. We visited Massachusetts and we visited my grandparents and we visited Canada and then we visited Maine. Specifically in Maine, we went to Bar Harbor and Acadia, which was really amazing. Like really, really beautiful. I love Maine, it's very pretty. Massachusetts, we went to visit the John Adams house because my dad loves John Adams and it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Uh, John Adams is a cool guy. Um, <laughs> anyway, I got this uh, Colonial Inkwell because it looks really cool. It's really quality. Oh, it almost dropped it. So right here are the things that I got in Prince Edward Island that are not Anne related. Um, Lily got these. They are Lupin flowers seeds, flower seeds, because like straight from Prince Edward Island, because there's a lot of Lupin in Prince Edward Island and it's really pretty. The other thing is, and I really like this, if you're a big Anne fan, you know one of the first things that she asks when she gets to Prince Edward Island is why are the roads red? And oh my goodness, seeing the real red roads, because the roads are red, not the paved ones, the dirt ones. And that was really cool. So the red cliffs, the red roads, the dirt is just red. And so I got, <laughs> and the sand. So I got this little bottle and it's um, a little bottle of red sand from the peat from the peaches, from the beaches of PEI. And oh my gosh, why won't this focus? Okay, so apparently I have to zoom in. But there is my red sand and it has shells in it and little sea glass. I really like it. This was actually, we rented a house and the people who rented the house to us, they have a little craft shop thing and they gave us this uh, complimentary. It is a, a little jar full of jam, uh, painted, it says PEI, and it's painted with a little lighthouse, and I thought it was really cute, and I'm excited to eat the jam and then save the jar. Yes, that also is a La La Land poster back there that I got, I got, um, am I really gonna show these? Yes, I am. Okay, La La Land, woo! 
and uh, I have a lot of posters. I like movie posters. And this is really cool. This is my Agent Carter poster, and it's made to look like some really old comic books. It's for the little short that was with Iron Man 3, but I just thought it looked really cool, so I got it. <laughs> oh, Kenoki. Where was I? Oh yes, I got one of these because it was super cute, and one of these because it's super funny. Cute little notebook that says, my book of dreams. I just thought that was really sweet and cute, and I like it, it's kind of aesthetic, so. Okay, I got another one, it's light blue, and this one's the funny one. And it says, my plans for world domination. I thought that was hilarious, so I got it. There was this antique shop, it was called Green Gables Antique Shop. And so, of course I went inside. <laughs> I got these books, they're from the 20s. Like, they were published, these copies, in the 20s. I thought that was really cool. So, I got them. They're like the, uh, the school books for the little schools in the 20s in Prince Edward Island. And they were like, just like the ones mentioned in Anna Green Gables, so, you know, <laughs> I'm a nerd, I got them. They were really cheap, so. So there's the Canadian Reader, book three, and that's like, they would have like the Reader, Speller, and Arithmetic. So I couldn't find a Speller, but I did find the Canadian Reader, book three, the Canadian Reader, book two, and then I also got Arithmetic, so all from the 20s, and I thought that was really cool. Now onto the Anna Green Gables stuff. I got Raspberry Cordial. <laughs> Uh, this one restaurant in Charlottetown, they were selling raspberry cordial in a bottle, so you know I got it. That's actually the um, picture of Anne from the cover of the first book I got. It tasted delicious. It like actually tasted really good. I love books and I love bookmarks and I love watercolor, <laughs> so I got this little bookmark. You can sort of see it. Anyway, it's a watercolor of Green Gables and Anne and I just thought it was really sweet and nice and cute. So bookmark, yay! I also got this little ornament, which I thought was really nice. Um, you can't really see it, but it's a little gold ornament, <laughs> Christmas ornament. It's really pretty. And I got all these at the Green Gables house. So you'll see in my vlog, but you can visit different things. You can visit the house of uh, Ella Montgomery's cousins, which is what she based Green Gables on. And it's like really being at Green Gables and they set it up on the inside to look like Green Gables. You can also visit her other cousin's house, which she spent her childhood in what is Ingleside, if you're a hardcore fan, you know what Ingleside is. You can also visit her, the site of her home, the post office where she worked, her grandfather's house, her birthplace, and there's probably more things. That's only like the houses, like there's plenty of other things to do. But most of this stuff so far, I, the end stuff, I got at the Green Gables house. I got these at well, these little watercolors, and I thought I could um, reframe them and put them in our room. That one's called The White Way of Delight, and then this one is called Green Gables. I think they're really sweet and pretty, and I love Anne, and it matches our room, so, ah, win-win. Okay, in case you didn't notice, I am wearing a Green Gables shirt that I got at the Green Gables house. I think it's really nice. I like the color. Green Gables. Ta-da! Oh, it was really cute. I guess I'll show you what Lily got. This is the Chronicles of Avonlea. It does not match any set we have, but it's really cute. Um, and it's like short stories that take place in Avonlea. I had no idea this existed. I can't believe, I don't know how I didn't, so I'm really excited to read them. And this one actually matches my set. And it is um, Further Chronicles of Avonlea. And the other thing she got was this book that just came out this year. And oh my gosh, you won't believe this. The author was doing a signing in Prince Edward Island, like right 20 minutes away from us, while we were there. But it was the day we were leaving and we had to catch a ferry so we couldn't get it signed. So that's done. But it was really cool that she was there though. That's pretty awesome. Really got this book. And it is called Maud. And it is um, about teenage Ella Montgomery, written as a novel, but about her life as a teenager and uh, it's really pretty like look how gorgeous that is and um, it's pretty cool there too I heard a lot about it actually so I, I think it must be pretty good I'm excited to read it oh and then when you get them at if you buy these books at museums you can get them stamped so like she got this at the birthplace so it's stamped and it says you can't it's not focusing so it says Anne Green Gables Muse Museum Park Corner no she didn't get this at the birthplace she got this at um, Park Corner which is what Ingleside is based on she got these at Cavendish and you can see that as well. The cat, her, where she lived, her, uh, the site of her home, where she lived. Yes, her home where she lived. Thank you for clarifying, Emma. So I have the entire series of Anne Green Gables in paperback, but I lost one of them. <laughs> Every time I tell the story, people always ask the same question. Why did you bring a book to the theater? Because that's what happened. I was like 10 and I brought my pocketbook to the theater and inside my pocketbook I put my Anne book because I always have a book in my pocketbook. It was Anne of Ingleside and I left it at the theater and so I could not find one that matched my set. And finally when we were at the Green Gables house um, I found the Ingleside for my set and it is brand new. I like it a lot. I started reading it. I love it so much. So it matches my set which is down here. Since visiting I've been fascinated with Ella Montgomery. She's a really cool person and um, this is the Selected Journals of Ella Montgomery. 
and this is book one because there are a lot of them because she wrote a, kept a lot of journals this is from when she was 14 to when she was like 20 something she wrote a lot but already like the, i read the first few entries and i was just like hooked oh my goodness it's like it can't be a regular person's journal it's like an actual book her writing is so good and it's not edited or anything i'm really excited to read this and get to know more about her the last thing is pretty cool actually so we happened to visit during canada 150 and so i found this book and i'm so glad i got it i own a lot of anna green gables books but why not add one more <laughs> one of her relatives george campbell decided for canada 150 he would give a publishing company the money to republish the original versions of her book so basically they took the design for the original copy, the first copy that they ever published of her book, and they changed it a little bit and then published it as a hardcover, and he signed every single copy. It's limited edition. It is, this is what the original Anna Green Gables when it was first published, this is what it looks like. It's really nice, it's real quality, it looks really pretty, it looks nice and old fashioned. He signed it, so I have it signed by one of Ellen Montgomery's relatives. So that is pretty darn cool. Yes, and I got a stamp because I got it at the birthplace in New London. And it's got her little, apparently she loved cats, just like me, so that's why I had the cat underneath her signature. So that's pretty cool. So this is really awesome. That concludes this Anna Green Gables haul. If you have not read Anna Green Gables, you 100% no question. I don't care if you're a boy. I don't care if you're a girl. I don't care if you are 100. I don't care if you are 7. Well, if you can read at 7. I think people can read size 7. I don't remember. Anyway, you need to read Anna Green Gables. You're welcome. I'm enriching your life right now. You don't understand. You just, if you haven't, you just have to. You just have to. It's, it'll make your life so much better. Okay? It really will. They're the best books that are ever written. Uh, thank you for watching. Please give this a like if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe because that would mean a lot to me and leave a comment below telling me what your favorite book is and what you thought of this video and what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. Uh, yeah, so I think that's it. Oh, and also don't forget to subscribe to Homeschoolers IRL and Allie, of course. So I will see you guys soon, hopefully. I will try. <laughs> and bye.